Okay, we're on record. Day one, bitches. Day one. Our first day of not working, hopefully for the rest of our lives. Fun employment. I think I can get used to it. Fun employment. I haven't heard that before. I just made it up. Oh, nice. I did it on mic. Nice. Oh, you did. <laughs> right. So, we're just sitting here at Bondi. This is the sea, the ocean's crashing here. And we've been out for a couple of swims today. The first one at Sparrow. And then we went out this afternoon and Meg got stung to bits with... What are they? Blue bottles. Blue bottle stingers. It's funny because we've seen blue bottles on uh, washed up on the ocean all week. So we've been getting up pretty much every day before work when we used to be going to work. And we've been sweet as. Yeah, we've gone for a swim. No dramas. Went for a swim this morning. Um, and then, yeah, this afternoon for our afternoon swim, we're actually coming down to do our first video filming. And... Um, we saw a girl get, uh, we're about waist deep, just, yeah. just a bit beyond waist deep. She had a wave wash over her and she got stung and then we were like, oh, maybe, maybe we should go out, get out of the ocean. And then before we could turn around and go back in, we both got hit and mine had a couple of jellyfish friends wrap themselves around my legs. Nuts. It's not nice. I didn't really get hit. I was just, mine was a token hit because you were <laughs> freaking out with all your stings. Well, I might have, but you know. I think, yeah, I think tough. you got hit a little bit and then yeah. you thought I got hit the same amount of you and yeah. I was really overreacting, but. But you got hit a lot. I did, yeah. 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 Anyhow, so this but is. That's okay because we are more right now. We've you're come you're out. right. Yeah. The sun's out. And yeah. Life's good. And uh, day one, we are trying out videoing, something we don't normally do, never done before actually. Maybe, yeah, trying to get some of our awkwardness out of the way. Exactly. Well, we watch this ocean crash in and try out all my new kit and equipment and shit like that, so. Would you rather be in a suit at a Oh, office it was meeting? so good getting home <laughs> yesterday, removing my suit and knowing that apart from two weddings, that suit is going in the bin because I've already chucked all the rest of my business attire. Apart from a shirt and a tie and this one suit, and it will soon be gone. The next time we put a suit on, it'll probably be on the Queen Mary 2, and we're yeah. traveling the Atlantic Ocean from Southampton to New York in December. Until then, no suits. What a good feeling. No business attire, no business, apart from. Who knows what comes up along the way. Yeah, well, I'm pretty lucky that um, where I worked didn't have a strict dress code. So if I burned all my work clothes, I'd have no clothes left. So oh, might... come on, Meg. Where, where did you work? Where did you work? At Google. Oh, dress. Google. <laughs> she, uh, the way I ask her is she never likes to talk about where she works because it's like it's so secretive. No, yes, she works it's at not Google. So secretive. Oh, she did work at Google until yesterday at five o'clock, and they kicked her out. And took Do her you car. Know, honestly, why I don't like to talk about it, why? or to, uh, why when I worked at Google I didn't um, lead with that fact in conversation. Why? Um, because before I worked at Google, uh, I had a couple of friends that worked there, and I'd seen the movie The Internship. Yeah. And I had pretty high expectations going into Google. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I actually did get a job there. I um, I actually found out that it was better than what I expected. Wow. So I, it's I'm a little bit shy. Like it was really a really really good place yeah. to work. So I didn't like. I felt like I was bragging if I yeah. if I kind of led with it. Don't um, don't you think that's just the fact that you're brought up in New Zealand and a Kiwi and Kiwis don't like to big note it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't hear a lot of Kiwis going around. <laughs> <laughs> saying, oh yeah, I'm the shit and oh, my, you know, I get lots of cool stuff. Because, you know, what What would people say to them if they did that? You're a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> hey, dick. That's what they would say. Oh, what an egg. What an egg. No, no. Yeah, so I true. Think, yeah, no, but it was, it was good and, and I think um, as much as it was a, a really fun place to work and I might, you know, hopefully work there again at some point, well, what we're doing is just something we have to do yeah and we're lucky enough to be in a position to, to do be it. able to do it which exactly. is take 12 months off exactly to, to not um 
be, you know, working. I was telling someone yesterday, they didn't, uh, one of my colleagues, they didn't realise that I've been working since I was 18. Yeah. And they said, you know, oh, well, what, like, you know, uni jobs and retail and stuff. And no, I was like, full no. time. <laughs> yeah, and I ran through the, the jobs that I'd had at, you know, in admin roles and then yeah. in, the, in your software development company. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, advertising agency and then at Google. And I'm only 27, but I've been working for nearly 10 years. Yeah. Um, so, and I never really took the time. So I'm excited to be able to to do it now. And, and the feeling is incredible. <laughs> yeah. It feels a little bit like playing hooky. It's good though. But I mean, you've been working a few more years than me. I've been doing a few more. Right. You can see, I've been with her 10 years. We're coming, this is our 10th year that we're taking to travel the globe. And the reason she's worked for the last 10 years is because I made sure that she worked from day one. You're a slave driver. I don't want to be supporting <laughs> nobody. I've got to pay her own way. Uh, come on, you wouldn't have wanted to be with me if I was the kind of person that didn't, wasn't interested in, in paying my own way. True! Well, not paying your own way, but in a bludger. <laughs> no, I, I, know I don't what you like mean. bludgers, right? I know what you mean. Uh, but, anyhow, so. Here we are. This is the starting of what was planned or born almost two years ago, 18 months ago. We went to the UK for a four week holiday, saved all our annual leave and flew from Sydney to the United Kingdom. And we went to London, Amsterdam, Paris, Dublin, Dublin Scotland. And we did that all in four weeks. And we came back and felt like is that it was like it was such an amazing time but it was over in a blink of an eye and so we hatched a plan to leave our jobs and it's taken 18 months naturally we've done a bit of saving um, to fund what we want to do around the world and uh, we've uh, paid off all our debts we're not carrying any debts at the moment which is such a massive wow, it's thing to be a, a position to be in to not you know owe anybody anything which is so it's awesome very different than the position we were in four years ago yeah. when we came to sydney yeah when we um, came to sydney we had a lot of money we've whittled that away paid it off got ourselves clear and now we're in a position to you know really enjoy life and apart from that trip kind of setting us on this um journey we've had some challenges and the time we've been in australia we've had Four family members die. I feel like I'm on a reality TV show now and I'm doing that whole <laughs> now let's get everybody emotionally crying, yeah, like yeah. feeling sorry for us. Please and listen to our sub story. Yeah, and that's, that's not why we're saying it, but we're just saying that we realize is life's bloody short and yeah. you need to get out there and live life. And the concept of um, buying a home, settling down, and having our whole world evolve around our little kingdom being our home. Uh, with a mortgage for the rest of our lives just did not appeal. I think having been in debt and then getting out of debt, yeah. it seems like, you know, the next logical step, according to a, a lot of um, people, is to get into debt and be, have a mortgage to pay your whole life. Um, yeah. But I don't, I don't think either of us were in a rush to do that. And, yeah, and we did have those reminders um, that life is short. And I know, like, for me, uh, for me, maybe a little bit more than you. Um, I'm looking forward to taking the time out to, in order to give myself a bit more room to process the grief and the loss, because we're both very optimistic people and it's yeah. not something that we've dwelt on. Um, not that we've repressed it either, but no. you know, we've got on and, and lived within you know, the, the lives that we're having. We were you know, going pretty hard, having a lot of fun. Yep. in good ways but also it doesn't yeah. always take time to pause and reflect and um, even in just in the process of deciding to do this trip deciding to take the time we've I think allowed some good yep. reflection time of what does it mean what did those people mean to us what did they do with their lives and exactly. are we are we living ours being that we're lucky enough to still have our lives yep. you know what are you doing with it yep so true so yeah this is today is the first of March 2017 and we are officially unemployed this is my first time I've been unemployed in my entire working career so 
20 something years, so I've always ha had a job. Yours is not quite that long. Um, and so, but it is an amazing feeling. We got up today thinking we don't have any responsibilities, we don't have any email that we have to check, there's no meetings that we have to prepare for. Before the yeah. jellyfish got us, there was no reason to get out of the ocean. Yeah, there's no reason to get out until the jellyfish got you, but. So yeah, that starts our day and our journey. Um, we're here for a few more days. We're having a bit of a party come. Is that uh, a spider? Yeah. Where? Down it's here. a crab. It's a crab. Are you sure? It looks yeah, like it's a, a crab. Spider. It's a crab. Um, oh, so what? We're having a party on Friday night. A few drinks. A few drinks. A few people coming to Kuji Pavilion, a really fantastic place to uh, meet friends, have drinks, say goodbye, and then on Sunday. We're out of here. We're no longer going to be Australians. Uh, after four years of being here, we are heading off back to New Zealand for a couple of weddings and then on to Beijing will be our next major country after um, capping these weddings off at home. So this That's is some exciting weeks ahead of us. We have some it, exciting does, weeks. it does feel funny. I don't feel like we're leaving um, Sydney in a couple of days. It has very much started to feel like home. Yeah. But I guess we I feel like it's not that big of a thing to leave because we are lucky enough to know we can come back. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Sydney is an amazing place to live. Um, if you work in the city, living right in the city is has just been fantastic for us and there's so much to do, never get bored, I've never had a time here that I felt, oh, what do I do? There is so much to do in Sydney. So many amazing beaches. The big difference between beaches in Sydney and beaches in New Zealand or Whangarei, where we come from, is that if you go to a beach in Whangarei, there's, you'll be the only person on the beach. It's, uh, quite often, we're here, even when we're up at you know sunrise, 6 a.m. in the morning, there will be people at the beach here swimming. Um, getting their day started and uh, and often up to on this beach here just behind us they'll often be up to uh, 30 odd thousand people um, uh, on, a on a hot day so it certainly loads up that's a bit about us um, we don't even know if we're going to put this video online this is just us testing our ability to shoot video and uh, try our hand at vlogging got to learn how to edit video yet I don't know I've never done that apart from about a one short run down a mountain once um, in New Zealand, which I had on my GoPro. So yeah, this will be our first try and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. Anything else you want to say? Uh, bye. Bye. Felicia. <laughs>